Hey there, how's it going? So today I just want to show off uh, the new Robotank auto top off system. So I have one here that you can see close up. Um, you can see it's in a 3D printed case. It's nice and strong. Um, you can squeeze it, throw it, drop it. <laughs> um, there's some tabs on the side here, uh, help you mount it. And there's a nice faceplate on it uh, showing what ports are what and the pinouts for the uh, here we've got some uh, holes, uh, little LEDs, and a push button go there. And there's one here, uh, that's where an LED goes to show us if the pump's on or not. And at the back we've got two USB ports, uh, that's if you connect it to the Robotank controller, uh, those are just optional. And then we've got our DC power port uh, to power it up. And then if I remove this lid, inside uh, you can see we've got the three push buttons. Um, and an LED here, multicolored. That's for navigating uh, different options. Um, there's nine settings that you can adjust. Um, and then we got a loud speaker here and some pins. Uh, little jumpers go on there that you can move around and they change what these uh, sensor one, two, and three port do. Um, they can have different sensors on them and uh, they gotta be set so that sensor will work. Um, so yeah, that's our inside. And then uh, in this video, I'm just going to only show how the ATO works. And uh, I'll do another one showing how to set up all the different, uh, or how to adjust all the different settings if you wish. So uh, yeah, when you get the ATO, it'll come shipped so that um, sensor 1 and 2 will be for uh, the monitoring your tank level along with the backup port. And then sensor 3 port is for the reservoir. So you can use a non-contact sensor, a float switch, whatever you want. And uh, that's our alarm going off um, because now there's no level. So that'll beep every five seconds and that's what it'll do. This alarm is instant. Um, it's the only instant alarm. Um, the other ones, they work off a delay. Uh, it takes 10 minutes by default. So um, one of these would have to uh, detect an error for 10 minutes and then the alarm would sound and once it sounds it'll stay sounded until you press this little button and reset the unit. Um, you can adjust that uh, delay up to 60 minutes so if you want the alarm to stay off longer you can do that. Um, so here's our optical sensors. Um, these are very reliable and accurate. Um, they work in a window of one millimeter so uh, when a millimeter of water evaporates, about that anyways, um, it'll kick on the ATO and once it puts in a millimeter, it'll shut it off. So I'm just going to demonstrate this. <laughs> you can see my nice drawer set up here, works pretty well. And I've got the soup ladle and it turns out this is about one millimeter of water. So I'm going to dip it in here, scoop out a millimeter and we'll see this ATO kick on. Just got to wait for the sensors to stabilize, and there we go. Now we'll put their water back, wait, and it's off. So that's one millimeter. So that's basically what will happen um, as the ATO runs, and uh, nothing too exciting. Um, if water hit sensor two, um, it would then shut off the pump and an alarm would sound. Um, I can't really demonstrate that right now, but I will show you that in a second. And then here's our emergency float. Uh, it is best to have the float sitting the way it's sitting here. Um, obviously it doesn't work with this bin, but uh, the idea is then it will stay dry at all times. And uh, then the likelihood of it working, if it ever needed to, it would. So yeah, um, if you can't, you can flip it the other way. Um, that float switch must be plugged in, otherwise the ATO pump will not turn on. So that's because it just bypasses all the electronics and the code. So it doesn't care about anything. Um, it just simply cuts the power to the pump. So it must be connected and in the proper position. Um, if you have it this way, if you flipped it the other way, you would take this little ring here. It comes off, take your float off, put it back on the opposite direction and put it on. And that changes how the float turns on or off. So right now this is off or on rather, this is off. So flipping it around would now have that opposite. So anyways, um, okay, so now we're going to tell you about the modes. The ATO has three different modes. Right now it's in working mode. So we've got our power indicator on, which is always on, and the second LED, which you probably can't see too well, but it is off. If we push this, like I was saying, that resets our alarm if one goes off. 
If we push and hold, first beat, let go, that light will start flashing. Now that means that we're in maintenance mode. So basically, the unit is turned off. It's like you unplugged it from the power. Um, that's good for if you do your maintenance or whatever. Um, this will automatically time out in six hours. So if you walk away with it, with it in maintenance mode, it'll automatically go back to working mode after six hours. Or you can press and hold, first beat, release, and it's off and we're back in working mode. Second thing is push and hold one beep, two beeps, release, and now it's on all the time. That means we're in a test mode. So now everything is instant. There's no delays. Um, so now we can go back to here, and I'm going to raise the water level um, to hit sensor 2. Now first I'm going to explain. Um, there's a third backup, so we've got sensor 1, sensor 2, and then there's an emergency timeout timer. Um, the ATO automatically calculates a maximum run time that it can run before uh, it'll turn the pump off. Um, so if it runs longer than that, it shuts the pump down, irregardless of the uh, sensors. Um, that's calculated based on, so let's say your aquarium took 10 seconds to top off. And we know that's about a millimeter of water. So we take our 10 seconds, we multiply it by 5, now that gives us our maximum run time, 50 seconds. So that's about five millimeters of height. And the idea there is the sensor that I sell, well, don't really sell, it just comes with it. Um, it is, uh, this is a three one, but they're spaced by four millimeters, each of the sensors. So basically, it, the timeout timer is set just above the time the water hits sensor two. So it's gonna give sensor two a chance to shut the ATO off first, and if sensor two doesn't, then the max runtime shuts off. Um, if you don't uh, use my bracket and uh, your spacing could be different than four millimeters, you probably don't wanna use the auto calculate at max time. Uh, you'll wanna turn that feature off and then just set your own manual max runtime. Um, just based on how high the water you want it to go, just time it out and set it. So you can manually set it or use the automatic. The automatic's great, like I say, but you got to use this uh, bracket and optical sensors as well. These work great, but they're not as accurate as an optical sensor. Um, the turn off on point can be slightly different in sensors where these are exact, where they all turn off. So, so now we're going to raise our water and get our alarm going. So we're gonna, one scoop, it should take three scoops, which is three millimeters. And then it should hit sensor two. Well, two. Oh, that was a wave that hit it. Because we have no delays, um, that's why the alarm went off. So now we'll add our third scoop. And there we go. Now our alarm's going to reset the alarm. Now, if this was in working mode, that alarm wouldn't have sounded until the 10 minutes expired. But uh, if we just press this button, it'll reset it. Of course, it's gonna run again because we're still in a bad mode. I will take a scoop of water out. And it will be quiet. There, and you can see this is turning on and off because we have waves, and right now we're in work, or we're in test mode, so we have no delays. So those sensors are, or the pump is reacting instantly to those sensors. So that's why the delay on delay is quite important. Um, factory, it's five seconds, so this sensor uh, must detect uh, water for five consecutive seconds and then it'll turn on. Um, you can adjust that up to 60 seconds. So if you want the ATO, you find it running too often, you can uh, adjust that. So that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you like what you see, uh, please uh, sh uh, share on social media, a small company, and I appreciate uh, all the support I can get. And uh, yeah, have a great, great day. <laughs> Take care and talk to you later. Bye.